Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you this DIY type project. I'm about to paint this cookie box. So for this project I'm going to be using this white and then I'm going to be using this kind of a minty green sort of shade. They are both acrylic paints. For the top part, as you can see, I have paint in here is because I started painting it and then I wanted to add something else so what I'm going to be adding is a piece of cardboard on the top so I got mine actually at a bakery supply store this is just supposed to be for cakes but I'm going to be using it for something else and I'm actually going to be putting this upside down because I need this to be the same exact size as the top and so I'm actually cutting it right now I just place this one on in here and then with my sharpie I just marked the way I'm actually using my scissors to cut the whole thing like usual and then once you're done you're gonna have a circle like this and you can put it on the top and thank god this is the size. Okay, and this is what's going on right now. Since I use cardboard, and if you cut cardboard, this is what the inside looks like. If I were to just glue this part in here, even if I paint it, I would be able to just still see those holes. So I'm just creating uh, some beads with my hot glue gun, and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. Just in case you want to do the same thing, it's up to you pretty much. It's a bit time consuming because you have to create one by one. First push my glue gun and then pull it. And I'm just going to wait for them to dry. You can remove all these things from hot glue guns. Now I have this part. It's all like beaded, we could say. And I'm going to just glue it to the top of my box. And I'm just going to let it dry it's probably overnight if i have mess in here i'm just going to before it dries and try to clean the whole thing i have this container type thing i just borrowed from my mom and she told me that she got this as a sample thing actually i'm going to be opening this and i'm going to be using this thing and i'm going to place it on where i think my center is i'm not going to do it like super accurate just going to mark the whole thing just so I have an idea of where to glue this thing. Then I'm going to be taking my lid as fast as I can. I'm just going to put this here. Okay, I'm going to wait for this to dry, push it a bit. And I'm actually going to be putting kind of the same concept of beads just around this thing. This is going to look cuter, I think. Plus it's going to ensure that everything is just glued together it's gonna reinforce so once everything is dry and set I'm just going to go ahead with my white paint I'm going to cover the whole thing I'm going to give it two or three coats then I'm going to wait for it to dry and over that I'm going to be painting two or three coats of my minty color so my white base is going to act like a primer and it's going to make my minty color just pop a lot more I'm not going to paint the inside. This is dry now. And I just got these stencils that I had got at maybe at Walmart, you know, this kind of thing. So I'm just going to be taking my sponge to just paint with my, this is called anti gold. And then I'm going to just place my stencil on the top here. Just hold the whole thing with my fingers like that. And with my sponge, I'm just going to take some paint. Because I want the image to be there but not like super perfect, you know, placed or just painted. Quickly remove it. I'm just going to be using this other, I don't really know what pattern this is, but I'm just going to place it next to it. Pick it up. So I'm just going to be doing this all over the place. And I'm taking some paint, removing the excess. Do this on the top part. And just randomly like all over the place the sides as well just giving the illusion that is kind of vintage that you found it at a thrift store or just at a vintage kind of store you know doing the same like on the this edge do the same thing on this part and in here everything is dry now and i'm working actually outside and i'm going to be using my satin finish this is the one and so guys, this is the final result. I have cookies in there already, upcoming tutorials, stay tuned for that. 
So I think it looks better like this than it did before. If you like it as well, just don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of stuff. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.